Я Diablo is coming to mobile. Blizzard showed us Diablo Immortal. And I played it a lot. Like a lot. So far, it's only technical alpha, but the game already looks pretty, pretty good. Four characters are available right now. Monk, Demon Hunter, Barbarian and Wizard. And two more Crusade and Necro will be added soon. The game feels like Diablo, sounds like Diablo, looks like Diablo, probably would smell like Diablo. Mostly like Diablo 3, but it has a nice touch of Diablo 2. For example, Flavi is running around and we can see runes in the game. And it's also showing us some features that were promised to be in Diablo 4. The events in the game are happening between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 storylines. So you will meet your old friends from both games. For example, the gorgeous Countess of Evil, it's my new crush, or King Leoric. Ah, poor guy, we killed him so many times, but at least in Diablo Immortal he cut a horse. You are starting the game in the Dock of Warham and by progressing in the story you are unlocking new abilities, new skills and new activities. Maximum level so far is 45 and after reaching it you are unlocking Paragon Points and the Skill Tree where you can allocate your Paragon Points. Each character has two primary skills and some secondary skills. Also, each primary skill can unlock an ultra ability and ultra power. The game itself feels nice, controls are easy and somehow comfortable. And this saying the woman who is playing only main sweeper on her phone. And Diablo I'm playing only on PC, so first couple of minutes playing Diablo Immortal I was confused when I was trying to move the character to the place where my thinker was, like a cursor on PC, but really quick I get used to the interface and now it seems the only true way. What a Diablo game without the loot! In the game, in Diablo Immortal, you have white, blue, yellow and legendary items. Legendaries are cool. You have special affixes that can change the level of power of some skills or the way the skill works. And they are rare, like for real rare. Uh, they're not just falling from the sky like in Diablo 3 and you really have to put effort and time to farm them. Not only armor you're farming in Diablo Immortal, you need also gems. Regular gems like Topaz or Ruby and legendary gems with special powers. And as a cherry on top, Diablo Immortal is a MMORPG, which means open world. You are constantly running in other people and it's giving you actually a nice feeling that you're not alone, that the world is alive and there are a lot of other adventurers fighting evil. You don't need to join them, you don't have to join them, you can complete the game completely alone, completely solo, but it's a nice feeling that they are there and you can see them. Overall, I really enjoyed this game. And I was really surprised. Yeah, it's a high quality game, it's a Blizzard quality game. I never expected anything less from a Blizzard game. But, but what was actually unexpected for me, this is a nice feeling that you can have Diablo in your pocket. No matter where you're going, no matter where you are, you can play Diablo. And you can be with your friends, you can be with your community. And this is a wonderful feeling, which I actually like the most. 
so let's hope that it will be released soon and we all will be able to play it together. It's amazing!